Please listen up. My name's Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. Forget beer can chicken. Forget rotisserie chicken. This is by far the best way to prepare a chicken, and it's coming right up. everybody my name is Tommy and this is the gallery backyard barbecue and I am a pretty a jacked for this cook but listen before we get going of course let me remind you to hit that subscribe button and to ring that bell so you get all of my uh, future uploads from a uh, master uh, build pit boss and of course the uh, Blackstone right now listen, what we got going here is a little roaster. You can get these at your local market for under 10 bucks, right? This is a, a steal, and listen, this is a, a must make, must make. First thing you wanna do is kinda just clean up the bird, right? Pat it dry, you want it to be uh, dry. It helps uh, crisp the skin. So I'll get some of that fat off. I'll look that uh, backbone and you want to get yourself a, a good pair of snips and just to go, uh, you know, just go on the side of that backbone, right? If you don't have a good pair of snips, you can also do it with a, a knife. You want to get that backbone out. Now listen, a lot of people crack the bird. I don't like to do that because it just kind of crushes the meat. So look, there's a breast bone right there. If you just take a knife and just kind of cut that breastbone, it'll just split right in half. To me, that just makes a little bit more sense instead of uh, kind of pushing the meat down and getting that uh, crack going, right? Of course, it's like a, uh, it's like a pro tip. All right, so from there, what you want to do is uh, grab your favorite seasoning and uh, I'm going to go with a salt, pepper, and garlic, right? I'm going to keep this Texas like that salt pepper and garlic and listen if you want to make this salt pepper and garlic rub yourself I got links down below along with some Amazon uh, affiliate links so you can get this uh, stuff primed uh, to your house you pay no more and you can start making your own rubs at home right save some money Uh, listen, while I'm at it down in the uh, description, I also have that uh, $25 off a first time uh, user, right? For uh, crowdcow.com. So you can get uh, 25 off a, a meat selection. That is a one hell of a bargain. So you may want to uh, look down there and check that out, right? Alrighty, so listen, what you want to do here, right? We got our grill. Uh, set at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. We got a, a drip tray just to uh, catch some of the uh, drippings because we're gonna want to make a sauce, right? A, uh, a gravy. We're gonna want to monitor this temperature and you want to go into, uh, you can go in the thickest part of the breast or you can go right in here. I'm gonna, uh, drop in the breast now. You want to uh, make sure that you're not hitting any bone. That's very important. We're gonna wanna take this up to 204, uh, excuse me, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we're gonna jack up the grill to about 600 degrees Fahrenheit because we wanna get that skin nice and crispy, right? We'll take the whole thing up to about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we'll uh, get it in the house and we'll rest it. We'll carve it up and this will be the uh, juiciest way that you could ever cook a bird. All right, so listen, every uh, bird is gonna be different depending on the uh, size, right? So you definitely, like I said, you wanna have a uh, handy, uh, quick read thermometer. And you can see we are still in the uh, high 120 so we're gonna let her run a, a little bit more okay as you can see we are into the 140 plus degree Fahrenheit so I'm gonna turn my grill up to 695 degrees look you can go from 6 to 700 Fahrenheit the uh, now the key here is that you want to crisp out that skin, right? 
and also make sure you have a, a quick read a thermometer these are not expensive and i also have a, a link down in the description if you want to uh, pick one up all right now look what we're going to do here is we're going to get this uh temp gauge out and we're going to get this bird in the uh, house to uh, rest Take my word for it that that skin is about as uh, crispy as a uh, crispy can be. I mean, look, people, this is a uh, for under ten bucks. This is a uh, this is a must make. Now, look, you can put barbecue sauce on this. You can do uh, well. There's so much you can do with it. Now what I'm going to do is take them uh, drippings that uh, came off the uh, bird and you want to uh, heat it up a little bit. You want to scrape uh, some of that goodness from the uh, bottom of the tray and you want to get that in a, uh, you want to get that in a little pot like that and you want to uh, add a half a cup of uh, chicken stock, a cup of chicken stock depending on how many people. I'm going to throw a little uh, cube in there and about a three quarters of a cup of water and I'm gonna bring it up to a boil. Now look, this is a, a basic uh, chicken uh, gravy, a uh, turkey gravy if you were cooking that recipe. This is how you make that uh, tea day gravy, of course. So you'll get that up into a raging boil and then you'll just start hitting it with some flour. And that'll uh, thicken up the gravy. And look, if it's a little lumpy, you can uh, strain all that. Uh, well, you can strain any lumps right out. And listen, quick note on the uh, bird. I don't like to cover it when it rests. If you, uh, well, sometimes if you cover it, it kind of makes the uh, skin a little soft and it uh, kind of mushy, right? It takes away from that crispiness. So I just let the uh, I just let the bird rest for about 10 and 15 minutes. She's gonna be plenty hot and she'll stay nice and crispy. You stick that on bread with some uh, mayo or some of that uh, white Alabama sauce, that Alabama white sauce, and you are golden. I mean, that is a uh, one a juicy a bird. I guarantee it. Like I said, this is a uh, well, this is a must make for sure. Listen, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell right for all my uh, future uploads. It is greatly appreciated. Please leave a, a thumbs up and please leave a comment down below. Right, I love uh, reading the comments. I answer all of the comments, so uh, it's very important to the show that you uh, leave a comment down below. And of course, if you want to see anything, just uh, let me know in the comments, right? We'll uh, see if we can get that done. All right, now listen, we're going to close out that this uh, video right here. If, uh, well, look, if you like this master built video and you want to see another one, just go here and here. Check those out and we will uh, see you soon.